Hello guys, in previous session we ended up uh, finishing authentication and sign in, sign up and sign out works. So, um, but you can see UI is pretty developer. Uh, today we are going to make it nicer, add some validation like for failure cases and uh, just polish it a little bit. So this, this session will be shorter than previous and I'll try in general to make session a little bit more focused on one single thing so you can expect them to be from 10 to 20 minutes ideally I'll try we'll see uh, so without further things uh, let's start so first of all we have some debug of our authentication state here and uh, we obviously will remove this then we have two similar forms sign in and sign up I want to keep them the same for now so uh, we will probably end up in the same uh, HTML and CSS for it I'm thinking does it make sense to move it to a component so you know to not repeat ourselves mm, probably yeah and uh, what else yep that would be it once we sign in or sign up uh, as far as I remember we had uh, ID visible here so we'll add up uh, user properties like username uh, later in the in the in the sessions so right now we are going to replace this ID with some uh, user profile picture you know generic one just just some icon and by clicking on it we'll have some profile page where a user can you know change their data um, upload avatar maybe later sign out delete their account etc so uh, let's start so let's go to our component for sign in or sign up they're basically the same and uh, it just uses sign in or sign up function here but the rest is the same so let's make a component I think earlier we didn't have any client components so let's make a folder for it and inside we can do index.js to re-export them nicely and also let's call it auf swelt and copy all the code we had in it so the only differences between two uh, these features will be this title uh, and button as well so we are going to have external property of this component so we type export and it will be uh, I think mode let's make it mode I forgot that so by default let it be sign in but let's type it so it's either sign in either sign up okay wonderful so right now it is not used let's start using it so if mod equals sign in we'll show some text based on that sign in otherwise sign up this is just very simple right now I don't want to make things complicated yet and probably maybe later on we'll make component a little bit uh, more complicated for sign up part you know maybe add some name or something there some initial user information uh, okay and one more thing is sign up button here so we'll do well let's just run, uh, change it to proceed continue submit or submit submit would work also I like this type of formatting code more um, yep okay let's see so we have email we have password 
we have all of that the only thing left is this function so let's replace it with uh, submit function and let's define it here so and depend on the mod what we'll do either sign in or sign up just let's be oh actually we don't need to format it ourselves i think prettier will add extra curve brackets for us will it no it doesn't okay but it should like it's uh, it's probably lint best practice so it is like this more visible what happens okay um so the component is here ready let's now replace it also one more thing before we can use it is to define alias I think we haven't defined aliases before so let's do that component will be in source lib client component and let's use at symbol here so everything starts with dollar well, I mean it's 12 kit stuff everything starts with at symbol it's our stuff just to make it a little bit distinguished and also here let's re-export the component so we'll say we want default as auf from auf swelt okay this is good i don't know why it highlights it i think it should be valid code uh, but we will see in a moment now here we just use auf and it got exported we will simplify this and we'll make it this curvy bracket import syntax and we don't need the store we don't need everything else we just replace it with the component probably later on we'll do some additional wrapping here maybe or we'll replace this component with other one but for now it will work so mod will be sign in and same with sign oh wait this is sign up and same with sign in okay let's see how it works so we have submit button this is sign up page this is sign in page let's see if it still works yep it does let's try sign up too so we'll have user 4 yeah it works too okay so once we changed it to use same component now we can style it without any issues and i think it's probably time to remove this stringify stuff uh-huh okay and now we just go to the component and we want it to be well vertical and a little bit nicer i'm i'm really bad at css and I love how Daisy UI helps me with that. So let's just do some basic stuff, just a little bit better than it is now. Um, so we go to our CSS stuff, not oh, sorry, HTML stuff. And here we'll say we want div to be a proper for all of this. And it will have classes like flex from uh, Tailwind and also by default i think it rows so nothing changes here but i want it to be columns so we say flex call and it become columns also i want max width to be i know let's figure out yeah xs i think works so this is good uh, let's add some gap gap free works nicely all times 
and probably let's put h1 also here and let's make it nicer i hope uh, github copilot will help me with that yeah much better okay this is basic one uh let's put it in the middle here so small trick how we can do it is just to add mx auto which will add margin on the left automatically so it is centered okay cool both forms are now much nicer uh, one more thing left is authentication failure message like error let's put it here yep this works uh, and let's try to fail authentication by providing some bad stuff uh, let's see why we haven't got anything sign in error okay um yeah let's let's output our our store again and we need to stringify it so for some reason our state is not updated when we get error so let's check the store uh-huh we haven't uh, covered the negative cases my bad okay this is all good yeah let's try it now oh wait did i forgot something yeah additional bracket okay try again auf invalid key id yep i will need to provide a better message from the server but for now this whole one will work uh let's try something close to reality just wrong password okay so invalid password uh please notice we never should say if the password or um, email is invalid we just say should say like hey this combination of email and password has not been found in the database when we say invalid password it gives a hint to hackers who want to hack your um, database or to sign in into someone's account that like hey yes there is such email in the database but just the password is wrong so you can retry with different password and they will do it they will do force uh check on your database again and again uh okay but we got the error let's try to sign up oh i think when we move from page to page we probably might want to clean this error state uh, but for now it's fine so sign up with uh, some nonsense again oh yeah sign up worked we need to check on the server that email we provided is valid so let's uh, do it quickly we go to the server uh, we need to add some validation we'll have another session for the validation quite soon I'm about to do one session for validating all the inputs on both front-end and back-end and also one session on refactoring all this because I can see patterns of the repetitive code here and there and I want them to be much cleaner and uh, for me as a developer I just like I don't like it it's like a lot of repetitive code here and there and if you want to add some feature to that code you need to add it again and again and again everywhere okay so for now since we don't have zod in the application yet let's do simple uh checks for email and password so first of all they should be presented 
second password let's say minimum eight symbols um, and uh, what else email should be a valid email so let's say validate email <laughs> oh, this is very basic oh, okay okay um, we we'll probably need to install some package for validations. I remember there was like a validate, validator, one of them. Uh, let's check which one is more popular. I kind of forget. So this one has 9 million weekly downloads, validator.js and validate. Oh, it's much less. Okay. So this one is popular. Uh, let's install it. npm install validator. And inside it has functions for multiple validation techniques. One of them is email validation. Uh, oh, wrong one. And uh, let's check examples. So one is e email. I think we also might need to install types for that. Let's check it out. Types validator. Okay, yeah, we need types. Cool. So we just need is email function. Uh, no, GitHub Copilot doesn't know we have this function there in the validator okay uh, let's see okay this is the one port reshakable yes imports yeah, yeah we need it to be reshakable we don't want pull the whole library with all the functions otherwise our code will be heavy and the bundle will be heavy okay let's see if it is typed where we were sign up easy mail yeah it takes string some options we'll go with default options for now so if email is not valid we will through an error, no, we won't through an error. We need to return some. Ah, oh, yeah, we actually can through an error, yes, and it will be handled here. Okay, invalid email. Yep, that works. One more bracket. Now, same for the password. We won't be too strict here, just uh, eight symbols is a minimum requirement. Uh, what else? I think that is it. Yeah, we can remove these comments. The code itself is obvious. Let's try it out. So we want to sign up and we got an error. What is it about? Uh, might be it's related to our previous try to use insert uh, import cannot use import statement outside a module huh. <laughs> okay well it should be possible Can we go inside and check what it is? It all seems to be pretty valid. Let me try again, but I don't think it will change. Yep. To load the ES module, set type module in the packet JSON. Okay. So let's Google it. Swelp kit validator.js. Zod, 
yeah zone would be better and more modern way to do that yeah all the cool kids use other modules these days yep okay well okay let's what, what should we do should we replace it with just basic um regex for email validation for now and uh stop wasting time on this outdated module that we won't use anyway i think so so e email yeah let's type something like check email against the regex I'm not sure this is a proper thing, but for now that should be enough. Yeah, and length at least five symbols. Okay, this should work. Also, don't forget to delete the packages we just installed. Remove, was it remove? First of all, it's types validator.js. Just validator, yeah, just validator. Validator. Yeah, many of packages that were developed before importing as modules um, became a standard doesn't support it, so it's a shame. But new libraries appear, and we should use new libraries. Okay, and let's relaunch our pm dev our server no errors this time sign up works let's see if we try to sign up with some nonsense again we got invalid email if we continue but password is too short we should get invalid password oh still email yeah right it expects some dot to be there okay password must be at least nice so we got some simple simple uh human friendly error messages this is good i think we don't need where was it um we don't need this state to be visible again can just remove it we got our error okay I think we can add on mount here to reset the store state just reset and we probably need to create it so we don't have this errors once we enter this component mm -hmm. okay let's try it now invalid email switch to ah we won't sign up okay switch to in sign in yep it works uh, let's just check that it still work as intended for the valid case yep it does okay wonderful so sign in and sign up is good we will add more validation and human friendly errors for sign in uh, use once we will refactor the code using Zod for validation but for now that will work the form looks good the only uh, thing left is we need to display uh, our avatar the default one instead of this ID so let's close everything here and in the layout instead of displaying ID we'll just display some avatar ok 
Okay. Yeah, we don't have a photo, but good try. Let's pick up some avatar online. So what I usually do is I check for user icon ext SVG. Ext SVG means for Google that, hey, we're looking for SVG. And let's take some neutral, simple, basic one. Like this one should work if it's a proper SVG. Because SVGs are lightweight and they scale. We don't need this picture to scale well, but uh, I just want it to be lightweight. Okay, is it SVG? SVG file. Oh, this site looks tricky. One of these websites that doesn't let you download stuff, but just shows you some um, ads or try to hack you or something. Um, so all the SVGs should have transparent background and uh, let's try to use tools color transparent that might show us less options but with actually transparent background yeah it's much less options so many less yeah, this one might work Let's go and let's uh, save it. We need also to check once we save it that it's actually an SVG because sometimes instead of SVG it can be PNG inside. So we can go to elements and check it here. It seems like to be valid SVG with paths, no insert of PNG or anything. We can just uh, copy outer HTML here and uh, save it into static. I like to create image folder and inside we create a new file user.svg. Okay, very nice. Let's see if it works for our case. We need to replace this thing with slash image slash user.svg. Uh, and okay, we, we can add out like user avatar, but I don't see the image here. So it has zero pixel in high or something. Hmm. This is weird. So if we look at network and images section, we will see our uh, picture here. Yeah, I'm bad at CSS. Why isn't it rendered? Hmm. Okay, what if we remove these classes and let it be as it is? Okay, here we are. What about we limit just its width? No, just its height. Oh my, it's so small. <laughs> Um, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So our picture is already rounded, so let's remove this class. Okay, now it's too big. Let's check something smaller. Uh, can it be even smaller, please? Okay, this is fine for now. I think it's quite big that the header is too tall, but for limits of this session, I want it to live as it is. Also in the next session, we'll make profile page. So once you click on it, you will actually see some user details that you can edit. But for now, I think we did a good progress. So we can sign in and sign up and the form looks much better now. 
and we also display error messages and uh, we display the avatar good job thank you everyone and see you in the next one